Good morning. It's time for Morning Manna. Today is Thursday, September the 14th, 2017, and this is episode 2,599. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome. Glad to have you with us today for Morning Manna. Today's podcast is entitled, Wah, Wah, Wah. Stay tuned, won't you? One of the things that my wife and I enjoy doing each week is uh, watching on Saturday night the first uh, installment of uh, the Life Church message. You can go to life.church, learn more about Life Church, Pastor Craig Rochelle. Um, and if you want to watch a live experience, there are 79 of them currently, and that you can go to live.life.church. Uh, normally, uh, you go there just about any time of the day, you'll see there's a live experience there. And I have the privilege of being part of the host team for uh, Life Church's YouTube Live experience. That's on Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. You'll see me in the chat as one of the uh, one of the hosts there. And they just started a new series. I love the title of this series. You know, I was a pastor for a long time. I love creative message titles. This is titled, My Big Fat Mouth. Think about it. My Big Fat Mouth. We get ourselves into a lot of trouble sometimes by things that we say. The first message, and it's it's the current one that's playing this week, is a wonderful message. I heartily recommend you go and listen to it. It's all about complaining complaining. It's interesting when you look at, uh, at the definition for complain, it means to express dissatisfaction or annoyance about a state of affairs or an event. It's the state that one is suffering from. And, you know, he said something in that message that I shared on Facebook, and I think I may have mentioned this in a previous episode, but I love this quote from that message. He said, if you can change your circumstance, do something about it. If you can't change your circumstance, change your perspective. Change how you think about it. Change how you look at it. And there's a verse in Philippians chapter 2 and verse 13 through 15 that I want to share with you that I shared last night in a, in a devotion that I shared with my small group. Listen to what it says. For it is God who works in you to will and to act on behalf of his good pleasure. Do everything without complaining or arguing so that you may be blameless and pure children of God without fault in a crooked and perverse generation in which you shine as lights in the world. Uh, it's a crooked and perverse generation for sure that we're living at. And you and I have this responsibility in that to shine as lights in the world. The brighter, the darker the night, the brighter the light. And one of the things that we can do that can really gum up the works in this responsibility we have to be a light is to engage in complaining and arguing. Now, It's interesting. Take some time to Google the subject of complaining. There's an interesting article in Psychology Today about the three different types of of complaining. Did you know there were three different types of complaining? There is the chronic complainer. Uh, Then there is uh, venting. Venting is expressing emotional dissatisfaction. And then there's the chronic complainer. Now, I uh, really enjoy serving as part of the worship team at uh, the local church that I'm a part of, Blue Ridge Community Church. If you want to find out more about Blue Ridge, go to blue-ridge.org. Love serving on the worship team. And one of the great things about that is each band is its own small group, and I happen to be the small group leader for the band that I'm a part of. And one of my responsibilities is on the night that we do have practice is to uh, lead small group and uh, last night we had the opportunity to welcome a bunch of new band members. We just finished uh, doing uh, band auditions and 
the thing that I really enjoy doing about that is doing spiritual interviews. So it was an opportunity uh, to get to know one another and introduce each other last night. And it's always a, a great time because you see, life is not meant to be lived in isolation. I've spoken to you about that before. We need community. And so I invited everybody to go around and introduce themselves, tell us a little bit about themselves, where they're from, what instrument they play, and so forth. But I also asked them to answer this question because I I began small group by reading this verse and and just talking very briefly about it. But I asked a question that was asked in the uh, Talk It Over document for this Life Church message. And you can also see the notes on these Life Church messages by going to life.church slash talk it over. And one of the questions is, what do you complain about the most? And so we went around the room. There were probably, I don't know, maybe 13 of us there, 14 of us. And everybody introduced themselves, but they had to answer this question. What do you complain about the most? Because it forced us to be honest and have integrity in front of each other to acknowledge the fact that, yeah, listen, no matter how great other things may be going in our life, we all have a tendency to complain. And it was interesting to hear um, one person complained about uh, the way other people drive. Uh, in particular, one person complained about the way his roommate drives. Uh, somebody complained about, there were a couple that were associated with work. One of one was just the idea of uh, uh, the, the co-workers around them. Uh, one had to do with management and uh, another had to do with just work in general. And uh, everybody shared about what they complained about. And then we went back around and I asked them, okay, you know, considering and concerning the thing that you mentioned that you complained about the most, how could you change your perspective about it? And it was rich, the comments. And everybody was thinking about, okay, how can I change my perspective about this? It was really funny. One of one of the band members' complaints he said, he, he said, well, the things he complains about the most is millennials. <laughs> and that we were in a room full of millennials. I can't believe he said that. And, uh, and when it came to talking about how he could change his perspective on that, he, he really str- struggled with the answer. Maybe you struggle too. Maybe there's something that you complain about often. You know, it is God who works in you both to will and act on behalf of his good pleasure. God is working. Do everything without complaining and arguing so that you may be blameless and pure. Children of God without fault and a crooked and perverse generation in which you shine as lights. Be a bright light today. Look for gratitude. Look for opportunities to encourage other people. Refrain from complaining. Whether it's the chronic complainer or venting, oh yeah, it's really easy to talk. I'm not complaining, I'm just venting. Mm -hmm. May God help us today with this. Father, thank you. Thank you so much that when Jesus suffered, he, he was silent. Man, if anybody had a right to complain, it was our Lord. But he went to the cross a sacrifice for our sin. Father, may we model the life of Christ, the character of Christ today in that respect. Strengthen us by your grace and give us courage and also give us restraint and patience. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website, morningmanna.com. My email address, bruceturner at gmail.com. Remember, you can subscribe, like, share Morning Manna. I trust that you'll do that. I share it on Facebook. I share it um, on Twitter. If you follow me on Twitter, I'm Bruce S. Turner. You can find me on Facebook. I'm Blue Ridge Bruce. Uh, Our YouTube channel, Bruce Turner. You can find me there. All of these audio episodes are also available on YouTube, as well as our weekend video edition of Morning Manna. Have a wonderful day. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.